The WordPress coding standards are a good way to make your code pretty readable and also it also will make you make less mistakes or similar. It's also important that we developers stick to some standards. So if you get a plugin from another developer and you read the code, you do understand everything. So how can you learn about the coding standards? You can go to make.wordpress.org core handbook. The handbook is here also. You can click on it and then you can scroll down to best practices and the coding standards. Of course, you can learn and read about everything here and you do so if you want to. But here are some of the standards that you might want to know, especially about the PHP and JavaScript. So if you go to PHP coding standards, you will see how to use something why, how to identate something and everything else. There are pretty lot the, there are some stuff you should know and there are some stuff you probably will check once you get there and you think should I do it with this way or in this order or something like that. Then you will go to this page, this handbook and check on it. And since we are only humans and we can't remember just everything, there are some pretty awesome stuff that some developers did and that is by using the code sniffer to sniff the code for WordPress standards and then you will receive some some things you should, uh, you should check, you should uh, rewrite or similar. In this lesson I won't I won't show you everything. Of course, I will just show you what you can do with it and then later on we can also see how to set up the coding standards on our team or plugin and run run it to see uh how to fix our errors or if there are any errors. And let me just show you a simple example. So this is a uh, a plugin right and then you can run this tool and since nothing is has been returned then everything is okay but what if I just do this this means that there is there is no space between and with the WordPress coding standards the PHP ones they do do state that we should always use the space between the brackets so if i run now this you see we have two errors and both of the errors if you see the x, the x in these brackets they can be fixed by another tool so this can be fixed without you interacting with your code and going in and refactoring and I think let me just check we can just do this and this is it so now if I run the code sniffer everything is checked and this one here should be as you see immediately appears with the space and that is it for this one and then we can go further on and in the next module we'll also learn about the plugin API so the plugin API is something that you will use in your teams and in your plugins